Greetings. This is Calcat the Calcatster. And I have just seen Deepwater Horizons, the movie. The movie based on that hideous, like, British petroleum oil spill explosion thing that happened in 2010. Which I'm sure the Republicans blamed somehow on Obama, even though he didn't do it. It was the British. Um... Uh, it stars Mark Wahlberg, and it's directed by, uh, Brad, no, who the hell, it doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> uh, somebody from, like, does action movies. Uh, and, um, yeah, the other actors, I think Kurt Russell might be in it, and some other people are in it. But, but mainly, it's about Mark Wahlberg running around a burning oil derrick, an oil platform ship, slash ship, slash mobile platform thingy. <laughs> um, yeah. So, another Oscar contender movie. Another attempt for somebody to get an Oscar. Uh, I don't know whether, you know, since he's kind of playing a badass, whether that makes it a worthy Oscar movie, necessarily. It's certainly a thriller type of movie. But, but... Does that really make it? I mean, it, it's a very good movie if you want to see it. Uh, adventure, action packed type of thing. Uh, uh, the premise, of course, is the oil disaster. Uh, but, but they didn't really go into what happened in those 87 days after it blew up. They just went into what happened when it blew up. When it was blowing up, and apparently blowing up over and over again, like something out of On Deadly Ground. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm not sure how much of that is Hollywood and how much of that is just, oh, it just kept burning after they got off. I, yeah, some of the debris flying around and everything in the initial blast would have been everywhere, but I would think after the top blew off, it wouldn't be that much anymore. But that wouldn't that movie would have been over in like 15 minutes then. So they had to carry it on. Anyway, for for... For 87 more days after the thing blew up, it's not in. The, they mentioned that at the end of the movie. Uh, it continued to gush oil all over the Gulf of Mexico because they couldn't cap it. It's like <laughs> finally, I guess they got a cement plug or something and went down there and capped it or something. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it was a messed up oil disaster. I'm surprised they haven't done more Katrina movies and other disaster movies, but no, they haven't. Uh, just the Spike Lee one. A good Spike Lee one. Go and check out that miniseries. Uh, but yes, uh, the Le Levies Fell, I think that's what it was called. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, this was a good movie. It was it was about... Uh, was well, it wasn't too much embellishing, not too much Hollywood. Uh, I'm... I'm Sure, they they probably added a lot of the characters and how they talked to each other and the dialogue between the husband and wife in the beginning and all that, which made it seem start out with like a, either Armageddon or some sort of Michael Bay movie, uh, other Michael Bay movie. But it didn't end up that way. Uh, Michael Bay would have not not been a good choice for this. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, and it turns out that they got to, they were allowed to use BP uh, clothing in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, there was an early review, Stone Gremlins, in which uh, they wondered how they could get away with that. Well, they can, because it would be a copyright thing from England, not from here. So I imagine the studio was big enough that they just said, we're not worried about it. They could sue us, but... What are they going to sue us about? <laughs> so they didn't worry about it. It was Summit. You know, the people that brought us Twilight. Yeah, so... So they weren't worried about it. Uh, uh, yeah, so... And besides, it was BP's fault. They... they According to the at least the movie and, and other reports, uh, BP did not do a full test of the uh, of strength of the concrete and other stuff that was holding in the cap on the oil derrick thing. I don't really know too much about oil rigs, but but they didn't test it well enough. And upon the final test, they just fled the rig. 
left it to the U.S. contractors. And the U.S. contractors and the boss guys and two of the BP guys on that thing were left on the rig to test it further. Uh, the last test didn't go well, and uh, it malfunctioned and had a catastrophic failure of its design and, and exploded everywhere, apparently, because it wasn't tested properly. They just wanted to get out of there and say like their their oil thing was done and we're not going to do anything anymore. So hey, we don't care. Uh, oh, actually, with the British accent, <laughs> and then it just uh, went kablooey. Yeah. So eleven people were killed out of a hundred and some that got off the boat, boat slash oil derrick uh, ship thing, oil drilling ship platform. Uh, the, the the scene where they both jump in the movie, there's the scene where the two of them jump to safety and whatever. There's the two characters. They jump to safety. It was a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, that was probably embellished by Hollywood in that they all would have wanted to jump off because it's on fire. So you're not going to stick around. Come on. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, but, uh, oh, well, Hollywood. So, yeah, uh, special effects are really good. Uh, the story's really good. Uh, disaster sort of story epic thing we know it sank so or it blew up so we know what happens it's not like titanic though and it's not like lost love or something or or you know or, or, or bp lost an oil dairy and they didn't sue because they're totally at fault uh, they didn't sue about having their stuff being mentioned and they shouldn't because apparently they're jerks uh the the uh the and in closing, you know, they, uh, the BP oil spill, apparently they were convicted, the BP people were convicted, but of course, it being a massive oil bureaucracy thing, you know, uh, they got off. They, they, they were convicted of manslaughter, uh, involuntary manslaughter, blowing up Eric and Derek. But, uh, then, then later on they just said, oh, no, no, you'll find, ah, uh -huh, because they're rich, and they got away with it. So... Yeah, well, the movie is going to convict them, so there you go. They have a movie about them. Yeah, but, you know, it's been six years, so... Mm. <laughs> Seven years. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Anyway, so it sucks to be them. And that is uh, Deepwater Horizon's Oscar-caliber movie, in terms of it being thriller-adventure Oscar-caliber movie. Um... Acting, mm, yeah, yeah, okay, fine, some acting too. But Mark Wahlberg is always kind of playing characters like this, so I don't know if he's playing, you know, I like I like an Oscar character to be playing something that doesn't remind you that they are them. And Mark Wahlberg never wants to convince you it isn't Mark Wahlberg. So, yeah, it's kind of a problem. Uh, <laughs> I'm such a, you know, cool guy, uh, heroic, you know. Mm, didn't really look much like the original guy. They showed pictures of the guys at the end, and there was this Texas song that, yeah, kind of didn't fit. Stone Gremlins commented on that, too. Song didn't fit. But, eh, what are you going to do? I, I think it would have been hilarious instead of that, just to be even more messed up, would be to play the Queen's, uh, the Queen's March. At the end. Like a, an instrumental of the Queen's March. <laughs> <laughs> been really screwed up. It'd be like, but really slow and somber, like, like the violins, fiddles, <laughs> that would have messed up. They should have done that. You don't see many, many BK, BP gas places around anymore. It's because they lost their ass. <laughs> Yo, let's get off fossil fuels, planet. Let's do that. Invent some things. So these oil companies don't need to rule over us. Good idea. Let's do that. 